Okay. So, ang tuturo natin yan is about the cables. So, merong conventional way of solving the cables. Pero, what we will discuss today is about the general cable theorem. So, it states that at any point on a cable supporting vertical loads, the product of the cable sag age. So, yung sag natin dito, ito yung age sub B at saka yung age sub C. So, yung sag natin laging nag mumula, no? So, mula dun sa ating support. So, pag pinag-connecta natin yung support, yung dotted line na blue, so, dun magmumula yung sag natin. So, from then hanggang dito sa point B, so that is A sub B, and this point hanggang dito sa point C, so that is A sub C. So, sabi ni cable, uh, General Cable Theorem, yung product daw nung sag age at saka yung horizontal component nung cable, which is the reaction age, of the cable tension equals the bending moment at the same point in a simply supported beam that carries the same loads in the same position as those on the cable. The span of the beam is equal to that of the cable. So, i-interpret natin to by solving the cables. Okay? So, dito, gagawin natin, gagawa tayo ng the same, okay, length or the same span ng cable natin. And then that would be simply supported, no? So, meron din tayo dong 30 kips and then meron din tayo ditong 12 kips. So, ang total natin is still 36. So, 12 plus 18 plus 6. So, that is 36 inches. Or 36 feet. So, what we will do, so meron din tayo makukuha, kunin natin yung reaction sa D. Okay? Or reaction sa A. Kung sa kung saan kayo mas nadadalian. So, magte-take na lang ako ng moment sa A. Moment at A equal to 0. So, I can have it 30 multiplied by the moment arm of 12 plus 12 kips multiplied by the moment arm of 12 plus 18. So, that's 30. Okay? And then minus, RD natin, ang kanyang moment arm is 36. So, that would become equal to 0. So, we can have it the RD equal to, so that's uh, 30 times 12 plus 12 times 30 min, uh, divided by 36. So, we can have it 20 kips. Okay, so ito na yung reaction natin, 20 kips. Hindi ko na kukunin si RA, okay lang yun. So, ngayon, ang, ang sabi ni General Cable, kailangan mahanap natin yung moment doon sa point ng beam na kung saan alam din natin kung ano yung sag. So dito alam natin yung sag natin is 4 feet, no? So that is the point C. Magkakat na lang din ako dito. Kunin ko yung moment dito sa part na to. I-isolate ko na lang. So kunin ko na lang yung para dito. Okay? So I have here 20. Tapos meron ako dito around 6 feet. Okay? So kailangan may balance ako so that's around m sub c so ang m sub c ko just equal to 20 multiplied by 6 feet so that's around 120 okay keep and then feet okay then i-apply natin yung general uh, general cable theorem so general cable theorem okay so, from the general cable theorem, ang sabi niya, yung sag daw at that point, which is the H sub C, and then the product of its horizontal reaction would become equal to the moment on that point on the simply supported beam. So, I can have the horizontal reaction equals to the moment at C all over sag at C. So, that's equal to 120 divided by the H sub C, which is 4 kip. So, I have the horizontal reaction equals to 30 Kips. Okay? And this is now the answer. Okay? So, ganun din ang gagawin natin to solve for the H base. This time, meron tayong 30 kips. Kunin natin yung moment sa point B. So, ang moment natin sa point B, that's equal to 12 kips multiplied by 18. Okay? And then minus yung reaction na 20 on the beam. So, we're looking on the beam, no? So, multiplied by 24. Okay? So, this one is your moment <clears throat> at point B. So, that's 12 times 18 minus 20 times 24. So, that's around 
264. And now, this time, this would be HB multiplied by H equals to moment at B. So, our H natin, H sub B, so that did become equal to 264 divided by the horizontal reaction of 30. So, we have now the H sub B equal to 8.8 feet. So, that's how you use the general cable theorem.